This video will assist you with your Word lab assignment preparing a short research paper, Wearable Devices. Let's get started. In this assignment, Step 1 asks you to run Word. If necessary, display formatting marks on your screen. I've already completed those steps. Step 2 says to modify the normal style to 12 point Times New Roman font. Right click on my normal style. Modify Times New Roman 12. OK. That step is complete. Adjust the line spacing to double. That step is complete. Step 4. Remove the space below or after paragraphs. Go back to your spacing button. Remove space after paragraphs. Step 4 is complete. Step 5. Update the normal style to reflect the adjusted line and spacing paragraph. Right-click your normal. Update normal to match selection. Just like the lab book assignment shows you if you were to follow through with a class assignment. Step number 6. Create a header to number pages. Insert. Page number, top of page, plane number three. This header is going to have the name H A K I M I space. Close header and footer. Your header is created. That step is complete. Step number seven type the name and course information at the left margin. If your instructor requests, you can use your name and course information. At this point, I'm going to follow along with the basic lab. Farah Oops, let's get the space back in here. Okay. This is Mr. Dan Schiff's class. This is English 103 and November 15, 2017. That step is complete. Center and type the title Wearable Devices. You can do Control C or hit your center button whichever you prefer. Wearable devices, and now you'll need to left align again. If you followed through with the book lab, these are the exact same steps you did in the book lab. Step number seven is complete. Step number eight, set a first line indent to one half inch for paragraphs in the body of the research paper. On my ruler, I will select the top part of this hourglass looking item, which is my first line indent. I will drag just the top half to the one half inch mark. Step number eight is complete. Step number nine ask me to type the research paper as shown, and I will start to type this on the video just so that we can get an idea of how this is going to work. Notice I'm not hitting enter when I get to the end of the line. I'm allowing Word to wrap this. Make sure you do not hit enter when you get to the end of the lines. Allow the software to wrap the text when it's ready.
when I do hit enter, it goes into a 0.5 or a half inch indent for me. It is automatic because I sat the half inch indent on the ruler by dragging over the top part of the hourglass to the 0.5 on my ruler. Now, I'm going to stop here. Let me fix my spelling. I can right click on my spelling errors and allow it to select the proper word. This should be tracker. That is not an option. I am not going to type this whole research paper with you, but I wanted to get to this point here. After the word device, I'm going to need to add in there my first um, my first source. And my first source, according to this research paper, is Papa's. That's a book. How do I know that's a book? If I look in my lab, it shows me the work cited. I could see that I need to add Papa's in there. It is listed, but how do I know that's a book? Look back in your class lab. Your class lab will help you identify what items are the particular source you're looking for based off of what is added into the source on the work cited. For example, Papa's is listed here. It says it's publishing 2017 print. If I were to go back into my class lab and look, mm -hmm. I had a book and the book also stated that it was palm press and end print. So that allows me to easily parallel this is also a book item. At this point here, I need to add my first source. If I look at the next step, step nine, it says to type the research paper as shown. Change the bibliography style to MLA. Let me go to my references tab. I'm currently at APA. I need to select the down arrow and choose my MLA format. Now that I've done that, my citations will come out properly. As you insert your citations, enter their source information shown in the figures with this lab assignment. Edit the citations so that they're displayed accordingly. Like I said, go back and look at your class book so that you can figure out what sources these will equivalent to. I've gone back and looked and I know that Papas is going to equal a book. Now it's time for me to add my first source. After the word device, I'm going to hit the space bar one time. Under my references, I would like to add a new source. I'm going to insert a citation and add a new source. This one will be a book. When I go to type this in, I'll type in the author's last name, comma, Now, if you're not quite sure, you can look in the book for the examples, or you can also look at the bottom. It gives you an example at the bottom as you type of the format that you should be placing into this area here. Here is the title of my book right here, Activity Trackers and Other Wearable Devices. My city is Dallas. I don't have to put the punctuation in here. It will do that for me. My publisher is Western Star Publishing. My medium is print. And my year is 2017. I'm only going to go through one of those with you. 
and I will say OK. It will have papas there. I can see on the example it wants me to have papas along with the page numbers. I can click on top of it, select the down arrow, decide that I would like to edit the citation, add my page numbers in, 32 through 41. OK. Now that step is complete. You will need to continue typing the last two and a half or three paragraphs of this research paper on your own and add two more sources. Now, what I'm going to do here is I'll put the period at the end of the sentence. I'm going to now follow through with the very end of this. If I were to go to step 10, um, it's going to tell me at the end of the research paper, press the enter key and insert the manual, the, the manual page break so that the works cited page will be on a new page. So we want to make sure that we have inserted a manual page break. I'm going to say insert and page break. That's going to bring me down here. Now I do have my non-printing characters on. I can see that's a page break. If I don't have that on, let me go to my home button. If I have that turned off, I can't visibly see that page break. That's probably one of your graded items. You should look on your grading rubric, but you'll need that page break listed. All right, you'll have to, don't hit enter. Don't hit enter and keep hitting enter till you get to the next page because that's not using the software properly. Use your page break. It will create for you a next page. You'll go to that next page and that's where you're gonna type in there works cited. It's going to ask you to center that. On that next line, you're going to make sure you left align it again. Under your references, you're going to insert a bibliography, but make sure you choose the proper one. You do not want this first one, second one, or third one. They will all give you blue text with a template, and that's not what you want. You're going to come to the very bottom and choose Insert Bibliography. It will insert that bibliography for you. It will attempt to format it properly. If yours does not, you'll need to make sure it's formatted. Your second line of each works cited of each source should have a, 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 an indent of 0.5. That would be your hanging indent. If I look up here at my ruler, it says that I do have a left indent. I have a hanging indent right here. And that bottom half of my hourglass is my hanging indent, and that's been brought into the 0.5 mark. So I know that this is formatted properly. Had I have continued to type and added my other sources in, those would have been added in here as well. At the end of this, it asked me to go up and save this. Save it to my desktop. It asked me to save this paper with the file name of lab2-1. Wearable devices paper. Once you have saved this, you can close out of it and submit this file to Blackboard. Good luck with your lab.